Hey well, guys, welcome back for another episode of Free and Budget Campsites. Ready for this? In Victoria! Right, I thought new viewers, my name's Peter and I'm travelling around Australia road testing campsites. Well, wherever I can put my bus at a budget, guys. It's the first show of the new series of Victoria. I heard about Malakuta and I thought to myself, I want to go there and have a look. Look, we're just outside of Malakuta's homestead at the moment. It's not very far, it's only a couple of kilometres outside there. We're going to go down there today and I'm going to show you the town itself, where you can go fish places you can go shop. Now it is a fishing place, so all you guys who do a lot of fishing, make sure you bring your rod and bring it out here with your boat. Now we're at a place just outside Malakuta's home ship at the moment, just a few kilometres, and we're at Shady Gully's Caravan Park and Cabins. Now I've seen it so far and it looks a really nice sight. I'm not gonna talk too much longer. Let's get in there and have a look at the park, see what it's got to offer guys. When you get into here, stop just beside the uh, office itself. There's ample amount of space to park your vehicle off to one side so you don't block up the entry to the caravan park. Now, this park has got a lot to offer. Look, a powered site is $35. A non-powered site is $25. Now, for long term, if you're staying for a week, go ask Chris. You never know. She'll give you a special deal for a week. The park has got a laundry. It's got a dump site. It's got a huge camp's kitchen. And also around this area, there is a lot of wildlife around here. Chris was saying sometimes the koalas just walk around this park. But anyway, in the office itself, they do have a few little bit of food and stuff. Not much. A few long life milk, mate. You're not going to get fresh milk. You probably have to go down to the township. But she also has got a DVD rental box i think it's three dollars a night whatever for a dvd take it put it back bob's your uncle now she has got a few different pamphlets in there for instance um, she gives you a decent sized map which shows you when i get it of the town and a bit more of it chris did mention to me she does store caravans here Look, no matter how big your caravan is, it's $400 a year to store your van here, which is a great price compared to up at Sydney, Wollongong, Brisbane. Mate, they charge you an arm and then they take half a leg. If you want to store it here for six months, ask Chris, she'll give you a special deal, of course. All the details you need to ring Chris is on the screen right now. So give her a call and you never know, They'll be able to fit it in and they might be able to sort out a special price for you. Cool little camp kitchen. The cooking station is not here. You've got the barbecues, which I'll show you next, but you have got a little uh, two element cooker over here. You've got a microwave, you've got a couple of toasters and you've got a kettle. But anyway, inside here is like a bit of a common room. You've got a TV up on the wall itself if you want to come over here and watch a bit of TV during the night. And you've got a couple of fridges which are communal fridges which everyone can use. Here's the barbie area here. You've got two great little barbecues. It's got power right next to it so if you need to plug anything in, bring them down, plug it in. Now this has all got lights around it so at night time it is lit up so you can see what you're doing. Now the good thing about this place, I blew out about this one, have a look over here. You've got a sink which is over here and it's got hot water in it. I blew out. It's got its own little gas little system and it runs hot water over here in the barbecue area. This is a really good cooking area they provide at this campsite. Sorry, your call can't. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. The phone reception is pretty good. I'm getting 4G and full bars at the moment. But the download speed test, which I've just done, I'm only getting 1.4 megabits per second download and the upload speed, believe it or not, 27. Look, for you Instagrammers, Facebookers, YouTubers and everything else, it is great to upload stuff, but it is crap to download. Oh, it is the way it is, but this tells me straight away that this might be an Optus based area. Look, I always say to people when they're traveling in pairs, if you've got husband and wife, Optus, have Telstra, that's the way to go, guys. No Woo now, this would be the favorite spot in the caravan park on a hot day. What a cool little pool. You've got your little outside setting that you can sit and have a bit of a wow. Well, oops, oh, no. I've just seen the sign that says no alcohol. Oh, the tea, coffee maybe? Mm. 
one. Anyway, look, there's no lounge chairs around here, so if you want to lounge around, there is grass, believe it or not. You can put your towel on and get a bit of a suntan if you want, but if not, what a great little pool. Take a dump. dump. Right, a great little dump site. It is brand new. Now this dump site, mate, thumbs up for me. You know why? Look at the concrete all around it. You're not gonna get muddy feet. Now you might be seeing that and seeing the bottom of the road where I am at the moment. It is higher than my dump point. If you look around to the side, there has been a little bit of a track being made here for people like myself with black water tanks. It is work in progress. Now, it does have water around here. Look, I'm guessing that is all the same water around here. I'll just fill it up one of the sites just in case it is water. <laughs> Down from the campsite I'm at at the moment is the township of Manalcuda. Now I'm here at the boat rental place at the moment and I popped past and had a look at his boats and those boats are fantastic and guess what? No, no license, license required. required. Look I'll leave all his information up on the screen and a normal power boat without a license is around $100 for two hours. Now they have got a barbecue boat around the side that holds eight people. Now it is $200 for half a day and $300 for a full day. All these boats are fully safety equipped with life jackets and everything. So you're not gonna be scared. Look, if you are a bit worried about it, ask Grant. He'll punch you out a few little ways of what to do and everything on the water. Look, it is quite easy. So make sure you give it Grant a ring and you never know on a quiet day, he might even give you a special deal. When you come down to Malakuta, there is plenty of ramps down here, as you can see. And also behind me, there's also a place you can wash your fish. But you just gotta watch out. You don't get eaten by the pelicans, man. It's the township of Malakuta. What a cozy little town this is. Look, it's not a big town. It's got one street. It's at least a decent sized street. You got your food works on your left. You got your IG on your right. But you got a pizza shop here. You got a fish and chip shop. You got a bakery, post office up there. You got a um, service station in here with a mechanic. But most of the town here shuts early. So I was trying to get a coffee and guess what? Not gonna happen. Everything's closed. <laughs> Silly shit house, dump house, whatever you want to call them these days. They've got hand wash, they've got paper towel. Mate, I could probably lick that floor, it's that clean. They've got showers, they've got toilets, and they've got just one urinal, which all we need. Anyway, straight away, I'm going to give it a strong four. Laundry time. What a cute little laundry they have here. They have one normal washing machine and one this one, it's look, it, I'm, a, I'm guessing it's an industrial one. They've got a couple of dryers here, but look, you don't really need dryers. You've got clotheslines out the back to hang them out. They've got a, quite a few of them. And look, the average price of everywhere I've gone has been $4. And guess what, guys? It's not going to change. It's still $4. Not like the couple of ones I've been in New South Wales. $2.50. Powered campsites. How cool are these? Look, I can't even see they're out of level at all. Mate, no van at all around here has chocked their vehicle up, so they are dead level. Now look, this here you might think's one site. No, it's not, it's two sites. Look, in a holiday period, they're gonna squeeze you in. Look, it's a very popular area around here, especially with the fishing area and the beaches and the, the ocean right nearby. To me, they're still good sites. If you've got a monster rig, you're gonna have a hard time getting in these powered sites. 25 bucks a night, this is what you get for a non-powered campsite. Pretty large. Look, I just found out I've parked in between two campsites, oh no. like, here and here 66 and there's 67 and there and I've just taken up two spots but look it's pretty quiet at the moment and if it is pretty quiet 
Take as much room as you want it, Chris told me. Right, uh, if you're running low on gas, mate, do yourself a favor. They do do gas refills here. They've got the four kilo, which is only 3.75, close enough to four, but they've got the, also the 8.5 kilos. Most of the new gas bottles have got those new fittings. These guys have got the new and old. If you haven't swapped from the small spline to the big spline yet, these guys do house both types of fittings. But these small gas bottles, a 3.75 is $30, and the larger ones, which is an 8.5 swap, are a $35 swap. No worries. So if you're running out of gas, they do them here. We're right out, guys. If you like shady gully caravan park, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the road.